King George took on Spotsylvania in an uh, annual matchup of rivals here. The Foxes jump out to a quick early lead, and they hang on for the 34-19 victory over Spotsy. Yeah, 34 nothing at the half. Yeah. And then Spotsy, King George maybe shuts it down a little bit. Spotsy makes a better game of it. Uh, but the Foxes sort of got back to what they've been doing. Picari Brown, you know, a big fullback with six carries for 93 yards. And, of course, Jordan Alley, one of my favorite players in the area. He's just very athletic and around the ball. He's a hitter on defense. He's a runner on offense. Offense, five carries for 62 yards, scored a pair of touchdowns. And the Foxes, we talked about this last week. This was a big, big game for the Foxes. They're in the playoff picture, you know, even at 3-3. Three and three, They're in the playoff yeah. picture. You got Caroline, maybe you pick that win up. You still got some other tough games, but, uh, you know, I, the Foxes are in the race. They're, they're certainly... Uh, they're alive and kicking. I, I saw what you did there. Foxes are in the race. I, I get it. Or in the hunt, maybe. Uh, that wing T offense on both sides, though, Reese, uh, Reese Ricabo from Spotsy. 15 carries, 98 yards, and two touchdowns. Yeah, and I wasn't surprised to see you know either side be effective offensively. When they do it right, it can be very good. You know, certainly we've seen the Cortland model. That's yeah. what we're going with here, and uh, I think they both executed pretty well. Spotsy maybe in the second half, King George in the first half. Foxes really needed this one. Big win for King George. Big win for King George. Props to Spotsy though. I've been impressed with the fight that's in this team. They did not give up. Uh, you know the comeback. They were down 34. Uh, it's, a, it's a big road to uh, to try to to, uh, to make up that type of uh, of a deficit. But they put up 19 in the second half. Yeah, so. and this has been one of I think the more competitive Spotsylvania yeah. teams. You know the last couple of years. And again, another team certainly alive in the playoff picture. Yeah, it's not you know, over. They've got some hard games coming up. But even when you lose to to Cortland, Cortland's got so many wins. Spots is going to net gain when right. it comes to their power points there. Yeah. And, you know, if the playoffs started today, Spotsylvania playing at JM, that, that would happen right now. Spotsylvania is in if the playoffs started today. They don't, yeah. as it turns they out. They don't turn out. They do not start today. Uh, but they would be. Spotsylvania still has a chance to make themselves a, a home in the postseason this year. So it's the middle of October, and we have actually, I believe that was the first one of the season if the playoffs started today. It's the first one that I remember, at least. They don't start today, but they, they, it's moving quickly. Sure. King George with the 34-19 victory over Spotsylvania.